Leslie from Just Less Creations. I'm so glad that you're joining us for this brand new um, session. We are doing a back to school series. We have quite a few cake pops that I wanna show you how to do. Today we are gonna start on a gift for the teacher. Everybody knows that we take an apple into our teacher at the beginning of the year and say, we're ready to start a new school year. So today we're gonna do an apple. It's pretty simple, two ways. We're gonna do a regular apple that you can include in your fall um, lineup. And then we're gonna do a character-based apple so that you can put little eyes and a mouth on it and be a cartoon one so that you can give to your teacher. And so let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is take our cake pop dough and we're gonna make two. We're gonna go clockwise, get all the air bubbles out, and then we're gonna go counterclockwise, make our circle. Now we're going to um, just extend that circle down a little bit because apples aren't really round. We're gonna take our ball tool and at the very top, we're gonna to put an indentation. That's where our stem's gonna be. And we're gonna just smooth around the outside of that, like so. Just make sure there's no sharp edges there. And then on the bottom, we're gonna take our smaller ball tool and do the same thing. I'm just gonna round that out just a little bit. And we're gonna stick our stick in there, but that'll give our base. So what we have is an apple shape like this. We'll do the same to the other one. Let's go ahead and put our sticks in. And then we can let them set up while we are making the other parts to our apple. So here I have a lollipop stick. It's already dipped once in white chocolate. I'm just going to do a quarter of an inch in the chocolate, tap it off. I'm gonna push it in and I'm gonna spin clockwise until I can feel it catch. And then I'm gonna pull it back about a quarter of a turn. And I'm just gonna firm, just make sure my finger marks are out of there. Try to get that chocolate out of the bottom. And then we're just gonna let it sit here to firm up. Okay, now while we wait for them to harden up a little bit, we're gonna make the leaf and we're gonna make the stem. So for right here, I have a little tiny leaf cutter and then I've already got my green modeling chocolate. We just need a little bit of green. All right, now we're just gonna add a little bit more cornstarch. So we're just gonna make two leaves, one for each of them. There's one. And there's two. Whoops, this side. Okay, let's put this green back. All right, so right now what we need to do is put the vein marker in. Here's your veining tool. I'm gonna to use the skinny end, and I'm just gonna put a vein right down through the center. And the same thing with this one. Okay, and here is my shell tool. It's my, the one I use for leaves. I just need to turn these around a little bit. And I'm just going to go from the center vein outward just to put a little bit of contrast in that leaf. Okay, we'll move them out of the way until I'm ready to use them. Let's grab our brown modeling chocolate. We have some right here. And we're gonna make a stem for our apples. Okay, and I'm just gonna take part of it, about three quarters of an inch. I'm gonna make the one end a little bit smaller and I'm gonna push down on the top end. That one's already at a point on that end. I'm just gonna tap it down just so the top is a little bit wider than the bottom. All right, so now we have both stems. We'll put this away. And the last thing we're gonna do is make some eyes. So we need some pupils. 
All right, so I have a number 12 Wilton's icing tip. And I also have a number six Wilton's piping tip. With the number six, I'm gonna make the pupils. All right, let's grab our water. We're gonna use that as glue. We're gonna flip these over. One side, you'll notice when you're cutting them out, has a nice sharp edge. And the other one is rounded and softer. I want the softer round edge at the top and the sharp edges at the bottom where it will touch the, uh, the other chocolate. I'm gonna use a little paintbrush and I'm just gonna dab a dot right in the center of each one of these. All right, so now we have our eyes ready to go. Okay, so now we're gonna take our cake pop that should be set by now. We're gonna give our chocolate a nice stir so it's all the same consistency and temperature. So we're gonna put it in at a 45 degree angle and I'm gonna pull it back and turn it at the same time until the chocolate connects to itself. So pull it back and just until it connects. And then I'm just gonna gently tap it or shake it to get that excess off. Now there's some air bubbles in here, so I wanna make sure that I pop them. All right, so I'm just gonna tap it a little bit just to make sure it's completely on the stick. I felt a little softness there spinning. All right, there's just a little bit more drip ready to come off. Take that excess chocolate off the bottom. All right, and while it's wet, we're gonna take one of our stems and drop it in the top like so. And we'll sit it over here and let it firm up. We'll put the, the leaf in after it starts to dry just a little bit more, right? So let's do the same with the other one. Get that excess off there and let it drip. I see a couple bubbles. We'll have to get them. It's important to make sure that your um, bubbles are popped completely so that when they do pop as they're drying, it doesn't give an open access to your cake pop dough. Air is not your friend. It will create a bacteria growth in there. You don't want your customers or clients or family or friends getting sick. Shake it out, let that chocolate get smooth again, and then I'm just going to take that excess off the bottom. And there you go, a nice red apple for the teacher. Let's pull this one up for a moment because that one's been sitting up for a few seconds. Now we're going to take our leaf, we're just going to put it in that wet chocolate, like so. Oops. And there you go. Okay, we'll do the same thing on the other one in just a moment. As soon as it uh, firms up just a little bit more, it's still really glossy. And that's how you know that the chocolate's still too wet. Okay, let's take our apple and let's go ahead and put this leaf on. It is firmed up a little bit. It's starting to get that matte look to it. So we're just, whoops. Let's try that again. I'm just gonna take it and drop it right there beside our stem. Like so. And there we go, we have that one. That one's ready to go. Now let's go back to our first one and we're going to find a spot so that you can see both the leaf and the stem as you're looking at it. So we're going to put eyes right here. We're going to drop those eyes in. Let's see if I can pick that up. Maybe.
this one. Well, that sometimes happens. So let's just take that out. That's why we make extra ones. Let's smooth that chocolate out again. And that's why we do it when it's wet. So if things happen, we can fix it. So we're gonna try that one again. It's okay, we still have one more. <laughs> This time, I'm going to try to put it down with my little spatula, my handy dandy right hand in the kitchen, because my hands apparently are too hot and it's sticking. There we go. Okay, so we just put that in it. Now we're going to let it dry, and then when it's all dry, we'll come back in and we'll actually put little eyelashes on there and a smile but it has to be completely dry at this point so that we can do the decorative work for the rest of his face so at this point um, we'll take a short break and we'll be back in a little bit whenever we're ready to finish it up okay so we're back with the apples our apples have fully cured on there so now we can go ahead and take our poppy paints and paint our facial expressions on there first thing we need to do is get our little palette and our poppy paint this one is dried out already, so I need to put a little bit more in here. Okay, we got our paintbrush, we got our black poppy paint. The first thing we're gonna do is put some cute little eyelashes on our apple. We're just gonna go one. Oops, that's too much. One, two, three. And over here, we're gonna do the same thing. It's too much. One, two, three. And we'll just put this cute little smile on here. And there you have it, just like that. So you can make your apple just plain, like the natural um, look of an apple could be, or you can add a little bit of character and put some um, facial features on there. Simple, cute, easy. Either way, it's a two in one. So there's our apple for our back to school. You can even put an A plus on there for your teacher if you wanted to do that. They make all kinds of cutters, um, cookie cutters, but anyway, here's our apple for this part of our series of Back to School. I hope you enjoyed it and get out there, try it, be creative. Until the next one, have a great one. Today, won't you click the link to reserve your spot on my consultation schedule? Don't stress any longer. Let me help you get the breakthrough that you're looking for today.